it's a rainy morning so we're gonna have a fire today Friday equals fire day so I'm gonna go down here and make a little spot in this big brush pile this is the one I cleaned up probably about two weeks ago and managed to accidentally delete all the videos of cleaning all this up so uh, all we're gonna have today is a video of burning it and it should burn extremely good all this stuff was cut back in I want to say like January or February of this year so it's had a good eight nine months to really dry out yeah I don't think it's gonna take much to get that going should make a nice fire though and I got a new camera so maybe people can hear me better I splurged and got a hero 9 since I'm not gonna walk around with a microphone maybe it uh, records some sound a little bit better all right well I'm going to get this fire started so I'm gonna get this giant brush pile started with this one little paper bag two gallons of kool-aid that's all it's going to take guaranteed I'm gonna start it right here in this spot right there it should uh, flame up in between there
make a little bit of a fire break. Not that it's going to go anywhere as wet as everything is, but they like to see a 10 foot ring around the pile. there 
need to drive over that toward the center. Dig it up with what I need. Only got one more grapple pull to go get. See that, but uh, from the other side, it's going to be pretty impressive looking. This is literally as high as the 250 will reach. The brush piled up. We've got one more grapple pole over here that they were supposed to get. Didn't. A little that going log. Now, there's just crap everywhere. Let's get a little bit of dirt. That's digging up too much stuff. Can't even get any dirt without getting stuff. Whatever that stump. So, bend the track pad on that. Oof. A little bumpy. Going to say that that's burning pretty good. It's a little toasty. Look at that. Good gracious. That's pretty impressive. Okay, that's a pretty good fire. a little too hot to be standing right here so I'm gonna go move this kind of puts it into perspective a little bit better that tree right there is about I don't know 70 feet tall the flames like I don't know 20 feet from the top of it At least it's burning good. No smoke. Fire's still burning. <laughs> that is probably one of the cleanest fires I've had in a long, long time. If only I had nine months to leave everything sitting before I could burn it. around here when it gets wet so I'm 
going to take a minute and load up a couple loads of this stuff and get this cleaned up. It's easier just to haul it than to try to track it way over there across that minefield of stumps. to burn though and that's one good thing about this type of work is you can save stuff like this for when you know the weather's going to be, be a little inclement and that way you have something to do so let me go dump that and come back and i don't know if i can get all that in one load but i'll try i like it Oh, the flames are about as tall as the tree now. Oh, it is now. We got a 70 foot flame. Well, sometimes you need the off-road truck to haul your firewood. Oh yeah. All right, let's get out of here before we melt the tires off. Toasty.
about two and a half hours since I started the fire. A lot of stuff has disappeared. I almost forgot about this big log I'm supposed to throw on there. I'm gonna do that and kind of pile up everything and just let it do what it's gonna do. And that's going to be burn everything up.
people ask a lot of questions about does the fire mess up the hydraulic hoses and all that stuff well it's kind of like waving your hand over a candle if you throw it kind of swing through the fire you don't even feel it i mean it's hot but if you keep it out there and and uh leave it sticking in the fire it'll, it'll probably melt them off but no i've never had a problem with the hose even getting remotely uh, hot enough to the point where it would melt or bust or anything. The only thing you got to take uh, caution is make sure you don't keep the machine too close to the fire because the windows will get hot and uh, you'll break the windshield. So I'll, uh, yeah, I'm kind of to the point right now I need to get away from it that stupid safety glass they put in these things it'll get so hot that it'll uh i guess expand and then shatter or not shatter but it'll crack so i'm going to throw this over here and then get away from the fire for a little bit let the glass cool off and then if that damn log will get out of there let it cool down then i'll come back over here and go around the yeah this stuff burn up nice little bit of stuff left around the edges and that's it all that loose stuff hell it'll burn down right there where it's at like everything burnt down it's a little after two o'clock now so it's had about six hours of burn just a few loose ends there I'll run around this side and throw it all up into the pile and let it just sit over the weekend
up really quick. Drag it on over here where I can reach it. While the wind's blowing in the opposite direction. That'll catch you back up here in a minute. Quit smoking so bad. Got everything piled up. The pile did go all the way to over there, so all that's burnt back and restacked up, so it'll sit there and burn on down. Shouldn't be much left when we come back next week.